Hello, it's Tom here with a fresh look at Lawbreakers on PS4, PS4 Pro and PC. This is a debut project from Boss Key Productions, a new studio headed by ex Gears of War director Cliff Blazinski. Built on Unreal Engine 4, Lawbreakers really feels like a callback to the house iron days of Unreal Tournament, a team-based competitive shooter with a frenetic pace, but this time with gravity-defying moves that let you hurtle around the map. It's obscenely fast, and with that speed in mind, the team had to make 60fps a surefire target on console. However, as you'll see, that's not exactly a perfect lock on a regular PS4. Now before we get going, it's worth saying the stuttering issues players had at launch on PS4 are largely fixed. Patch 1.04 arrived a day after its release, and essentially, where before gameplay froze for a split second every time a player changed class, it's now much improved. It sorts a majority of the hitching, though some 100 millisecond spikes and above still remain here and there, even on a direct ethernet line to a PS4 Pro. So it's not perfect, but the regularity and severity of these stutters are definitely reduced, and of course, your mileage may vary based on your connection type and speed. So with that in mind, let's get to the comparisons. In terms of resolution, regular PS4 owners get a 1600 by 900 native resolution here, and with that frame then upscale to 1080p. There's no Xbox One version here, and so the standard PS4 really represents the lower end in terms of image quality. Expect to see pixel crawl on the game's clean futuristic maps, especially specular highlights, but in general it's still a decent looking game. The presentation is no doubt softer than the other versions on the table though. Enter the PS4 Pro then. We're promised full Pro support in Lawbreakers on the PlayStation blog, which states outputting at 4K gives us the ultimate in visual clarity. A 3840 by 2160 resolution is the number posted there in fact, but in checking it myself the native resolution is nowhere near a native 4K. From every pixel test I've tried across a range of maps, PS4 Pro runs at just under a native 1440p, typically a hair below at 2496 by 1404. This is with the same visual settings as a regular PS4, but with a bump in image quality making use of Ultra HD TVs. On the surface, it's disappointing to not get a true 4K, but let's see it another way. Our 1404p measurement is still a huge 24 times increase in resolution over a base PS4's 900p value. That's where the PS4 Pro's extra fill rate and boosted memory bandwidth is being used, and no doubt the result is visibly cleaner. In zooming in and switching between a base PS4 and this 4K output on PS4 Pro, you can see even a circa 1440p image is a worthwhile upgrade. Meanwhile, if you have your PS4 Pro hooked up to a 1080p screen, the improvement is less impressive but decent. This is again mentioned on the PlayStation blog, and I can confirm outputting at 1080p from PS4 Pro gets you exactly that, a native 1920x1080. Now curiously, the blog also mentions all settings are ramped to maximum while in this mode. It lists several improvements, from upgraded lighting and effects, increased LODs, and clearer shaders and textures. But in my testing, this isn't really the case on maps like Promenade or Grand View. Put under close scrutiny, just about every area is a match for a regular PS4 or PS4 Pro at 4K, while PC gets a clear step up in setting quality. For example, compare a PS4 Pro at 1080p against PC at ultra settings. There's an immediate difference in ambient occlusion quality right here. In this shot, shading is dialed back on Sony's machine towards the corners, stripping out some of the scene depth we get on PC. And if we look again at this outdoor shot, texture detail is embellished on PC, while PS4 Pro gets the exact same asset quality as the standard PS4. The same applies to reflections too. Clearly, we're not getting all settings at maximum on Pro's 1080p output as we were promised, even on the latest patch. There's a lot PC is doing here which isn't catered for on console. Given we don't get any super sampling from a higher resolution on PS4 Pro, it's a little disappointing. The advantage to playing on PS4 Pro really isn't in image quality though, but in performance. Check this out for starters, a base PS4 clearly struggles once a center point is contested, with drops as low as 30 FPS with full screen tearing to boot. That frame rate reading wavers up and down the graph from 30 to 60 
and it's glaring given the sheer pace of the action. Now again, the stuttering people complained about on the last patch is massively reduced, but you will catch some noticeable hitches in amongst these drops on a base PS4. In fairness, a good chunk of the game will operate at 60fps, especially on maps based on simple indoor corridors. Most of the map designs have a very angular design, but it's the shader work and alpha effects that really seem to drag performance down. Couple that with the breakneck speed of characters like Vanguard, and it's a recipe for some chaotic frame rates when the action really kicks off. That's base PS4 at 900p then, but the good news is PS4 Pro really does a much better job here. Outputting at 1080p, this faster machine turns in 60fps far more consistently. Running several matches into our performance analysis tools, tearing is massively reduced too. Now this may not represent lawbreakers at its extremes, but clearly as a target, 60fps is far more feasible given the hardware and rendering setup on PS4 Pro. After all, only pushing a straight 1080p resolution from the machine may seem like a disappointment at first, but given we're also getting a leap in performance too, the area that matters most for games like this, it's an encouraging turnout. Given a GPU like Nvidia's GTX 1060 can play the game at 80 to 100 FPS at ultra settings and 1080p, this is really the least we can expect here. Looking at PS4 Pro again though, outputting at a higher resolution through its 4K output, 60 FPS is still a well met target. There's barely any dips to show for that boost to a near native 1440p. In my experience, either output mode simply hits 60 FPS more consistently than a regular PS4. The fact we're not getting the full PC package in terms of settings is a small disappointment with that in mind, but of course, in the end, performance is the real metric of worth for a game like Lawbreakers. Overall then, the only sore point is how the regular PS4 version has turned out. For all the aerial ballistics, ragdoll physics and heavy use of alpha effects, the game simply doesn't play as well with the standard PS4 model. It without a doubt gives PS4 Pro owners an advantage, bearing in mind one player could be seeing the action at 30fps while the others more or less locked at 60. It's a clear cut choice if you're sticking to console, but PC easily offers the premier experience on every other level. Anyway, that'll do from me. If you found this comparison useful in any way, do feel free to like and subscribe. And of course, we have this video uploaded at its original source file quality on our Patreon at digitalfoundry.net. But until next time, thanks for watching. Uplink stolen. Enemy uplink connected. Oh! Oh, yeah. Now I'm flying high. Your team scored. <laughs>